Hello, and welcome to The Valiant Way. We're so excited to be working with you to help improve your technology and make your workflows just a little bit easier. If you haven't worked with a managed service provider before, there are a lot of benefits over the traditional in-house IT staff. Valiant Technology is staffed with over 30 IT experts with a range of specialties and expertise. That way we can always provide the right person for the right problem and it gives us more availability, both in time and the ability to support multiple issues at once. As part of our proactive service, we've developed some automation and redundancy. This includes updating your workstations, so you always have the latest security and performance patches. We've established procedures to maintain accurate documentation. This standardizes and streamlines our support, and it also means that any of our technicians can take a look at your documentation and work on resolving your issue. Lastly, since we work with so many clients, we have a lot of industry partnerships. That means we bring enterprise-grade technology to businesses of all sizes. So who are we? We're basically just your IT professionals who can apply our design philosophy to your technology. We want to make sure that your technology supports your business goals. So let's talk about how you can use Valiant Services. To request tech support help, there are three ways that you can open a ticket. One is by emailing tech support at thevaliantway.com. That will automatically create a ticket in our system associated with your domain, so we know it's assigned to the right client. You can also visit portal.thevaliantway.com to do more than just open new tickets. You can check on previously submitted tickets, add notes, or close out an open ticket if your issue resolved itself. And of course, you can always call us at our number, 646-775-2771. A couple of the reasons why you might want to contact us are obviously computer issues. This includes performance issues, if your application may crash, or if you suspect you may have malware on your machine. You may also call about problems with peripherals, which is just your computer accessories, such as your keyboard, your monitor, or more. Contact us if you have any network issues, this includes connecting to the internet, either through Wi-Fi or your Ethernet cable, and also includes the inability to connect to printers, as those are on your local network. Reach out if you're having problems with email, such as accessing your email or if you need a password reset. If you're experiencing odd email bounces or you think you have a suspicious email, send that over and we'd be glad to take a look and give you a second opinion. Do you have a new user starting soon? You can reach out to us for staff onboardings. We create a detailed checklist to make sure that your new staff gets started on the right foot. There are a couple of technical issues that are out of scope for our general service contract. That includes certain printer issues. This is especially for things like issues with the hardware or replacement parts, as you'd need to contact your printing service. Most phone issues would need to go through your telecom company, as there isn't much we can do about outages on the telecom's end. Your personal devices such as cell phones and home computers are generally not covered. Things like performing database searches is not a service that we generally provide. And we also are unable to help anyone who is outside the company. If someone calls up, we need to make sure they are on our user list before we can provide them any tech support help. However, if you're unsure if the issue you're having is something we cover, call us anyway. We're glad to help, even if it's just to point you in the right direction. Any issue you submit will be tracked in a support ticket. Using tickets allows us to provide better service, which includes tracking of issues, especially if we start seeing repeated patterns and resolutions, so that we can repeat those resolutions if the issue comes up again. It also helps us to maintain our service level agreement, which is basically just making sure we get you the fastest service we can. When you are opening a ticket, there are a couple of things that you want to include in order to help us diagnose the issue faster. Start with what the issue is. Give as much detail as possible. Let us know if you're experiencing work stoppage or just a slowness, or if it's just annoying, but you can still work just fine. Let us know who is experiencing the issue. This one may seem obvious that you're the one opening the ticket, but it could be something that multiple people are experiencing. So if you're aware of other people having the same issue, that can help us diagnose. One good example of this is, if you're having trouble connecting to the internet, but no one else is, that's probably an issue with your computer. 
But if everyone's having trouble connecting to the internet, we're going to start looking at your network and your internet connection. Lastly, include when this started. This may include things like it's been an intermittent issue or this just happened after this change happened. It can help us determine where to start looking to resolve your issue. And lastly, we have to mention the stereotypical IT person phrase. Have you tried turning it off and on again? This actually works to resolve a lot of simple issues and is probably the first troubleshooting step we're going to take anyway if you call or email in. So give it a try, and if it resolves the issue, great. If it only resolves the issue temporarily and you're finding that you have to turn your computer off and on again once a day or any time more than once a week for this same issue, give us a call anyway, and we'll see about giving you a more permanent fix. If you're having any issues with your equipment, we will always attempt to fix before replacing. So open a ticket and we'll run you through those steps first. If you want to request equipment or new software, you should be going through your company's procurement procedure. Once we get the go-ahead from one of our assigned approvers at your company, you will receive a ticket that has an estimated timeline of when you can expect your item to arrive. One important thing to note is that Valiant will not install or troubleshoot unauthorized software, which includes pirated software or anything for personal use. Communication between you and our service team is key to getting your issues solved quickly. Here's what you can expect. You'll be contacted primarily via email or phone. On this slide, you can see an example of a service email ticket. It includes your ticket number, the title of your ticket, and any relevant information. You can also proactively check on the status of your tickets by going to our client portal. Ticket emails will come from support at thevaliantway.com. So it's very important that you do not flag Valiant emails as spam or junk. When tickets are complete, you will also receive a survey email, but this is something you can opt out of. In the modern workplace, the majority of your issues can be solved remotely. This allows us to provide you faster service and resolution time. Our service team will be able to remotely access your computer. However, we will not access your computer without scheduling an agreed upon time first. Sometimes we will need to access the computer with you there to help point things out or enter in passwords. But if you're able to schedule a remote access session with one of our technicians where you don't need to be there, just make sure your computer's sleep settings are turned off so the computer doesn't go to sleep while you're away. Valiant Technology does provide after-hours support. However, this may come with additional fees. You can feel free to open a ticket at any time, but if it's after-hours and you don't need support right now, just let us know. Our regular office hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Monday through Friday. After 8 p.m. and on weekends, we have an on-call technician and an account manager available. Emailing may be the best way to contact us during after hours, and if you call, please leave a voicemail with your callback number. That will automatically open a ticket, and we'll reach back out to you as soon as possible. We have great resources for our clients at thevaliantway.com. Our support center is a great way to quickly access our support resources and cloud services. Our knowledge base has articles and videos which provide guides to many questions we've received from clients in the past. This includes how to get the most out of your applications or even how to contact Valiant. And finally, I want to bring up the client portal again. You can access it through portal.thevaliantway.com and logging in with your email address to access your tickets, application, and lessons for things like security best practices. Thank you for watching this Valiant Technology onboarding video. We're so happy to start this relationship where we can be a real partner to you and helping your technology achieve your business goals. If you have further questions, please reach out to us at techsupport at thevaliantway.com or by phone at 646-775-2771. Thanks again. Goodbye.